位尊敬的拜师大奉献者，今今天是二零二三年。Recording in progress。我们我们我们邀请到了尊敬的圣巴比贝蒂美纳纳辛哈斯瓦马尔给我们讲解今天大波加瓦坦早课，敬请聆听。哈利克什。哈利克什。Om Magyana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksurun Militanjena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Vanchakaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhai Evacha Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadarha Shri Vasadigar Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So we're hearing Lord Krishna described his great love for the people of Vrindavan. So this Brihad Bhagavatamrita is being spoken by Parikshit. He's speaking to his mother, Uttara. Maharaj Parikshit has only a short time before he will leave the world. His mother wanted to hear the essence of what he had heard from Sukadeva Goswami. So Maharaj Parikshit is describing how Lord Krishna continued uh, to praise the, the, the glory, the wonderful devotion of the people of Vrindavan. He was describing the good fortune of these people of Vrindavan, how they have so much love for Krishna. So Uddhava was there with Lord Krishna. He was becoming anxious to hear the, the special ecstasies of Vrindavan. He was worried that these special ecstasies, the ecstasies of the people of Vrindavan, that they would again, they, they would draw the Krishna into a trance. So Uddhava made a sign to the ladies who were present that they should do something to avoid Krishna going into a trance. So Satya Bama and Rukmini and the other queens who were all present, they surrounded their husband and touched his feet 
with their heads. And they, they offered prayers to, to their husband with very pleading voices and they, they, they were crying at the same time, they were sobbing tears and in this way they gradually were able to calm down Lord Krishna. 嗯，他们就用恳求的语气将他们的丈夫祈祷，嗯，哭泣着，啜泣着，最终使他们的丈夫终于平静了下来。So Uddhava saw that Krishna was on the verge of again becoming very agitated, so excessively agitated. By remembering everything about Vrindavan. Uddhava can Krishna Vrindavan So they didn't want Krishna to become too much disturbed by all the remembrance of Vrindavan because he would again cry and, and he would lose control of himself again. So Uddhava made a sign to Satya Mama and the other queens present. He made a sign to them and they responded without hesitation. They knew what Uddhava wanted them to do. Uddhava the, the queens of Dwarka, like Ruk, Rukmini and Satyabhama, that their relationship with Krishna is different from the way in which the gopis of Vrindavan relate to Krishna. So they couldn't they couldn't pacify Krishna the way the gopis of Vrindavan could pacify Krishna. But the queens, they, they did the best which they could to help Krishna avoid going into that trance. So Uddhava, he also, he was, he urged that Devaki and Rohini should come in quickly with the food and drink for Krishna's meal. The intimate devotees of Krishna, they know Krishna's desire before he will express, before Krishna will say anything, they can understand 
what his desire is. So by bringing the food in, his Krishna's lunch, Uddhava, he, 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 he was very wise and he was able to change the whole mood which was there. Because as soon as they brought the food in, then you know, then they thought about, okay, it's time for it's time for Krishna's meal, you know, and they stopped thinking about Vrindavan and all the things there. And Devaki, she was also thinking, and she also understood that Krishna is going to admit that Krishna will need to have his food. So earlier, she had already gone off to the kitchen and she prepared everything for Krishna's meal. And Balarama also removed himself from from everything. Balarama he he went away, he just he understood that if he was present, it would remind Krishna too much about Vrindavan. Balarama also left the scene. He knew that if he were in the scene, it would make people remember Vrindavan. So Balarama made an excuse. He said, I have to go and take bath. So he went, uh, went away. And so when Balaram had finished his bath, then Uddhava had Balaram come back in. And then at that time, Uddhava informed Lord Krishna that Narada was standing in the doorway. In other words, Narada had come to see Lord Krishna. Uddhava so Lord Krishna knows everything because he's in everyone's heart. But still, he asked, he, he asked a question with a smile. He asked, why is he, why is he being kept standing there? Why doesn't he come in? As usual. So Krishna is unknown because he is in every human being. But he is still smiling and asking, why does Narada stand in the door and stand in the door and stand in the door? Lord Krishna already knew the answer to his question. But still he, he was asking this. He was smiling. Krishna 
提出这个问题。Actually, Narada had taken part in this whole scene, this whole situation which had been enacted to help Krishna to relieve Krishna. From his anxiety about Vrindavan. 实实际上，拿尔达就参与了整个的事件，帮助呃让主奎什呢摆脱对文达文的焦虑。So Narada was rem remembering Krishna as being in Vrindavan. He was reminding Krishna of Vrindavan. Narada would remind Krishna about Vrindavan. Narada 就会提醒 Krishna， 让 Krishna 想起 Vrindavan. So Krishna didn't become angry. Krishna is this dark. He's a dear son of Nanda Maharaj. So Krishna cannot be dissatisfied. With Narada, Krishna, 并没有生气，因为他是南的大君的爱尔，所以他不可能对南的生气。那你 ，Narada is glorifying the cowherd people, Nanda, Nanda's pastures, Nanda's. Nanda Maharaj is he's Krishna. Narada is glorifying all the people who are from Vrindavan and who are associates of Nanda Maharaj. Narada 就荣耀了，嗯，南的大军，在文达问的南的大军的所有的同游们。So Krishna asked, "Why was Narada waiting at the door? Because no one, until now, had ever stopped Narada from coming into Krishna's palace." Krishna 就问 Narada 为什么一直在门口等候着。因为到目前为止，没有人阻止嗯阻止拿拉达的行动。So Uddhava smiled and answered to Lord Krishna, "He says, 'My Lord, because he is afraid and embarrassed.'" 乌德瓦就微笑着回答主 Krishna 说，嗯，我的主啊。Narada 呢？他感到害怕，他感到难为情。So when Lord Krishna heard this, then Lord Krishna personally went to the door, and he 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 brought Narada inside, and he began to speak to him. 当主 Krishna 听到这番话，又亲自来到门口。把拿拉达带进屋，带进大厅，开始对他说话。So even Uddhava was also smiling when he thought about Narada's very curious behavior. When Uddhava 想起拿尔达非常古怪的行为的时候，乌德瓦也微笑了。Because Narada had arrived, he had come there very enthusiastically, and he he his, his he was displaying uncontrolled symptoms of ecstasy and hiding in it, hiding every hiding his ecstasy in the sky just to watch Krishna's visit. He was watching Krishna visit this Nava Vrindavan, you know, the the replica of Vrindavan. It wasn't actually Vrindavan, but it was the replica of Vrindavan, 
and he was watching how Krishna would react in that place. Narada is Krishna So Uddhava told Krishna that Narada was actually afraid because of the offences he had committed by disturbing Lord Krishna's mind. Uddhava told Krishna, Narada was afraid that he had Krishna's mind and he did Krishna to the mind. But Krishna replied that Narada should never be afraid. He should never be afraid of Krishna uh, does, for any reason. And he should, he should never hesitate to come and meet Krishna. But Krishna said, Narada should come to meet Krishna. And Uddhava said, well, Narada was also embarrassed. It, it's the nature of pure devotees that they're, they're usually shy to show their private ecstasies, to show their great love for Krishna. They, they don't want to show their ecstasies because it might disturb other people and the pure devotees never want to disturb other people. So to pacify Narada, Krishna himself went to invite Narada in to his palace. And Krishna approached Narada Muni very respectfully and he bowed down to him and he took him by the hand and escorted him into the palace. You can, you can see the love between Lord Krishna and his pure devotee Narada. So Krishna said to Narada Muni, he says to Narada, my dearest friend, you are always eager to please me. To Krishna, the Narada said, "My dear friend, you are always eager to please me." And you are the best of all those who relish transcendental emotion. And Krishna says to Narada, you have done a great favor for me. 
主奎士娜对拿尔的说道：“你你给我你为我做了一件大好事儿。” So Krishna is telling Narada that what you did was not offensive. Krishna 告诉拿尔的说：“你的所作所为没有丝毫的冒犯。” And Krishna is saying that people, those, the devotee who knows about my transcendental taste for devotion, for my devotional service, will behave like this naturally. Krishna says, "Those, um, for my devotional service, have a transcendental taste." 他们的行为就自然而然的会这样流露出来。So Lord Krishna is telling Narada, you have no reason to feel ashamed. You have not done anything wrong. So Krishna 告诉 Narada， 你没有理由嗯感到羞愧，你没有做错任何事情啊。And Krishna says, he said it's true. That when one is separated from the people he loves, then that pure love makes one suffer within. So Krishna says, "Indeed, w And that suffering which we go through, that is like a blazing fire. And that that pain which we experience in being separated from the people we love, it creates. Feeling that the is is very very deep. It 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 it's a type of sorrow, a type of misery which we're going through. It's very but it's very deep. Hmm. And we and with our beloved people, this kind. 当我们体验到和所爱的人们分离，然后这会创造出一种非常的难难过、悲伤、深深的这种伤伤痛之情。And we cannot stop that suffering. 而且我们无法。And at first, at first we feel very, very wretched. We feel very fallen. So Narada Muni, he may agree that he he doesn't need to be embarrassed. Narada, he maybe will agree that he doesn't feel very bad. He lost control in the ecstasy of doing his devotional service. But he had actually caused Krishna great distress by sending Krishna into a bewildering trance, remembering the people of Vrindavan. But actually. 这使得 Krishna 因为想起了文达万的人们，而把 Krishna 
，投入了一种令人困惑、令他困惑的神境当中，令他痛苦。So Lord Krishna wants to convince Narada that he doesn't have, he shouldn't blame himself. 主 Krishna 想向拿达表明说，拿达不需要自责。And the actual pain of being separated from the people we love is only understood while it, it can only be understood while uh, while sh we show it, it can only be understood. Through the, the kind of mental pain which a person goes through. Actually, The person who actually feels this kind of separation, he is actually absorbed in the incredible ecstasy, the bliss. Actually, when people experience So this devotee is actually very fortunate. This devotee, 奉献者，事实上是极为幸运的。And there may appear to be some distress, it's, it's, but it's a very short. It's only for a very short time, just for a moment. He feels distress, but he may feel. That feeling will very soon give way to the greatest happiness. This devotee, 奉献者，就貌似可能是，呃，痛苦的，但这种痛苦呢，只持续短暂的片刻时间。随后，他感受到，他这种痛苦就让位，让位于一种巨大的快乐的感受。But the, the pain of separation is considered greater than the happiness of enjoying with the ones we love. Separation is so pleasing; it gives so much pleasure to the mind that it cannot be described. Separation It becomes transformed. In the end, it becomes transformed into the greatest pleasure. 最终，它会转转化为最巨大的快乐。But only only experts in tasting in tasting these moods can understand how this happens. The bliss of merging into the impersonal aspect of the absolute is some people may say that bliss of merging into the oneness of the absolute that cannot be described. 有些人说
融入到绝对绝对者的非人格特征的带来的极乐是无法描述的。But the bliss of pure devotional service, prema, that's even harder to describe. 但是，纯粹奉献服务带来的极乐，这种 prema， 是更加难以描述。And the hardest thing to describe is the inconceivable ecstasy. Of this love in separation. <laughs> 然而，在此之上最难以描述的是分离之爱，分离之爱所带来的狂喜之情。And this pain of separation in the beginning is pain, but it grows into it becomes the greatest pleasure. 分离之苦，呃，起初开始的时候是一种苦涩的感受，但是它会转变成成成熟为一种最大的狂喜。嗯、mm. ，The ecstasy of separation is not the misery, not the, the miserable experience. Which it, it appears to be to outsiders. 分离的，分离带来的狂喜之情，并不是像外人，呃，外人，在外人，并不是会像外人眼里那样的痛苦的体验。You have, we have to understand that. That pain of separation—that is the cause of the greatest satisfaction for the heart. It gives the greatest feeling, greatest pleasure to the heart. We must understand that this separation brings pain. It is actually a cause of the heart. 心灵，嗯，会导致心灵感受到最大的快乐和满足。So if someone asks, how can one feel happy when when there's so much misery? 如果有人问，嗯。在这种痛苦面前，人又如何能感受到快乐呢 ？But we should understand that only those people who are rasikas, who are actually expert in tasting this this special cream, they can understand it. Others cannot. 但我们需要明白的是。只有那些，嗯 ，rasika， 就是品这些滋味，品尝这些滋味的专家们，嗯，他们品尝这种 prema 的专家才能明白，而其他人是搞不懂的。So after this pain of separation is taken away, then one one's heart. Feels fully satisfied. 当发生这种分离之苦的时候，一个人内心是感到最大的满足。And that at that time, one enjoys the greatest pleasure of meeting again with his beloved. 当他和自己的所爱、心爱的人再次相聚的时候，他会享受到最大的快乐。So for people who have not yet 
realize their natural attraction towards Krishna, they cannot understand this ecstasy. So they should they shouldn't pretend to know about these things. They have they don't have any qualification to understand them. But what they should do, they should take guidance from people who are authorized, who are expert in these things. They should take guidance from them in the, in the line of the, the parampara and they should learn how to gradually understand these things and how they can gradually become fit to understand this. In order to become qualified to understand this pain of separation, people have to faithfully do they faith they have to faithfully hear and they have to do service. The problem is our mind is materialistic and so neophytes they they will have doubts. And one of the doubts may be that they will say that, well, doesn't this, uh, the great misery, the great suffering which they're going through, doesn't this result, this can result in people dying or they can be in delusion? And here we are saying let's say we are saying we're hearing from Brihad Bhagavatam Rita that unlimited joy, the greatest happiness comes from this misery. Well, now, according to the laws of nature, the laws of nature say that pleasure is generally followed by pain, and pain is followed by pleasure. But this doesn't mean that pain becomes pleasure or pleasure becomes pain. It means that the circumstances in this world are always changing. It 
总是瞬息万变的。So neither pleasure or pain can continue for very long without being replaced by the other one. 所以，无论是快乐也好，痛苦也罢，都会被彼此所代替。So to say that some kind of suffering matures into the highest happiness, the neophytes will say that's unreasonable. This doesn't make sense. So this kind of saying, say that some kind of pain will mature into the highest happiness, they will say that's unreasonable. This doesn't make sense. So to justify this, in order to explain this logic, the pure devotees, what the pure devotees experience, can be offered as evidence. So, to prove that this is correct. 是合乎逻辑的，那么纯粹奉献者的体验就是证据。And pure devotees, they do experience ecstasy in separation. 纯粹奉献者的的确确的，就在分离之苦当中体验着狂喜。And we cannot say there's any other reason why they experience this ecstasy. The only reason can be, must be their intense experience of what what appears from the outside to be suffering. So, in outside people's eyes, it seems like it's pain. So, this kind of suffering. 只纯粹奉献者，他们体验的是一种强烈的快乐，快乐，所以就没有不能说，嗯，他们没有理由有这种体验。So to help new devotees to understand this, Krishna explains. Krishna is trying to. He, Krishna is explaining this to us to help new devotees so that we can understand this. How this pain becomes the greatest happiness. So, to help these new devotees understand this, Krishna is explaining how pain becomes the greatest happiness. So Krishna compares the happiness of the pain of separation to the sensation of getting relief from pain. Krishna 就比就在这两者当中进行了比较，一个是分离之苦带来的快乐，一个是从。So we have all had experience of that. We've all been in painful situations, and then at some point we get relief from the pain. We have all had experience of that. We've all been in painful situations, and then at some point we get relief from the pain. We have all had experience of that. So a person may, it may be, we may be struggling to get some object which satisfies us. 一个人可能，呃，在努力的为获得一一个感官对象而努力的挣扎奋斗。And we struggle, and the struggle will be painful. But when we achieve the object, then the pain turn becomes great pleasure. When we, uh, for this to achieve the object, the pain is painful. But when we achieve the object, then the pain becomes great pleasure. 
但是，一旦获得了我们的目标，得到了我们想要的时候，这种痛苦就变成了快乐。So this ecstatic distress of separation is similar to the pleasure that follows pain. 这种分离之苦而带来的快乐，就好像。上述的，为了获得，嗯，我们的目标，嗯，而一开始是痛苦的，随后是快乐的。So we, Lord Krishna is explaining that that play that pain is becomes a pleasure in the end. Krishna 就解释说，这种痛苦最终变成了快乐。And these feelings are only the external appearance. 这这种感受只是一种，就是外，只是一种外在的。In the, the in the reality, the ecstasy of separation doesn't come from the externally meeting. In in reality, the ecstasy of separation doesn't come from the Ecstasy comes from the pain of separation. 狂喜是由由于分离的痛苦而导致。The ecstasy is what gives us the real satisfaction. 而狂喜会给我们带来最大的满足感。And we never feel any. Insufficiency. We never feel we're lacking in anything. We feel completely satisfied. We 永远不会有缺憾感，我们永远会感到彻底的心满意足。So that ecstasy can be compared to the pleasure of gratifying our senses after not being allowed to. In the beginning, you're not allowed to, but then you're allowed to satisfy it, so you feel that pleasure. This kind of joy, that kind of joy, can be compared to when a person starts to not be allowed to get pleasure after being allowed to get pleasure. Then, when he is allowed to get pleasure, but actually, it's much more pleasure than even we're 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 just speaking about it. But the pleasure is indescribable by words. But 实际上，这种快乐是言语无法描述的，是远远大于，嗯，我们所说的。Just like in, in ordinary dealings, the mind of an ordinary person. Feels relief when he can again be with the people he loved. 就像在普通的世俗、普通的交往过程当中，嗯，当普通人被允许和他们所爱的人相聚的时候，他们心意就得到了。And he get again. Of course, he can get the opportunity to gratify his senses. He's reunited with the people he loves. Um, he again has the opportunity to gratify his senses. He's reunited with the people he loves. Um, he again has the opportunity to gratify his senses. He's reunited with the people he loves. Um, he again has the opportunity to gratify his senses. He's reunited with the people he loves. And remembering Krishna in separation. But 实际上，纯粹奉献者的狂喜来自于他服务 Krishna， 在分离当中服务 Krishna， 意念 Krishna. Okay, so we're going to stop here today. 好，我们正课
课的部分就停到这里。Are there any questions? 我们看一下问题。Yes. 第一个问题是来自于 Panchatattva Das， 顶拜马哈拉者。Krishna 是神本人，他需要进入神定吗 ？Panchatattva Prabhu is paying obeisance. He said, "Maharaj, Krishna is God Himself. Does Krishna need to enter into trance?" Well, he enters into trance. You could say it's he doesn't. It's the love of his pure devotees that Krishna is a person. We have to understand he's a person, and he is experiencing personal love for his different devotees. Krishna is also a person, so he experiences his personal love for his devotees. This Krishna, uh, you could say, of course, he always loves his devotees, but he, he's he's experiencing this uh, separation from the people of Vrindavan. Remember, Narada Muni had gone to Dwarka looking for the people who received the greatest mercy of Krishna. Krishna is always loving his devotees. He is actually experiencing the separation from the people of Vrindavan. We should remember the fact that Narada is going to Dwarka to find the people of Vrindavan. He is going to find the people of Vrindavan. Showing how much he loves the people of Vrindavan, and he's describing that the people of Vrindavan—they're the most fortunate because they love Krishna so much. Jo Krishna 就展示出来，他是多么的，他爱文达文居民的程度是多么的深，而文达文的人们呢，是最幸运的。And their love is in separation because Krishna had gone; he had left Vrindavan. So the people of Vrindavan are just feeling so much pain in separation from Krishna. And Vrindavan's people's love is in separation from Krishna because Krishna had gone. 他离开了文达文，所以文达文的居民们由于和 Krishna 的分离而感受着这种痛苦。And that that pain becomes ecstasy. 这种痛苦就变成了狂喜。So Lord Krishna, he is just as the people love Krishna, Krishna loves the devotees of Vrindavan, and When he, when he's not with them, he's feeling the separation from them. 嗯，就像人们爱着 Krishna, Krishna 反过来也爱着文达文的人们，而他们，嗯，就是当 Krishna 不在的时候呢，他们就就体验着这种分离之情，分离之苦。And so when Krishna is in Dwarka. And he's feeling the pain of separation from the people of Vrindavan. Then he can go into trance, remembering them. So, when Krishna is in Dwarka, he is separated from the people of Vrindavan. When he thinks of the Vrindavan residents, he is suddenly entered into a trance state. Because this is this is the greatest pleasure, and Krishna is the supreme enjoyer. 
So he likes to enjoy that pain of separation from his devotees. So we have to understand Krishna is a person and he has feelings and he's enjoying his different emotional feelings for his devotees. And as as we can pure, pure devotees can go into trance remembering Krishna, Krishna also can go into trance remembering his devotees. We cannot think that we have qualities which Krishna doesn't. Whatever we have qualities, it all comes from Krishna. Krishna. The first first question is in this morning's lecture um, mentioned Uddhava, Narada and the people of Vrindavan, they 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 are feeling to Lord, Lord Krishna, they have their own feeling to Lord Krishna. Whether or not it is necessary, necessary for us in our human, human form of body to, to train, to be trained as it is. And then after that, we can go back home. To be also trained as, as this, as this. To be trained as what? I think um, Uddhava and Narada and people of Radha they they have, I don't know, Shruti Rupa, in this question, Shin 嗯, that's the second part is right now I I can more experience the causeless mercy from God and from devotee, but I don't know what's what does God uh, what is the need of the God and how can I serve him in the way he likes? She said she 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 doesn't know what God needs. Yes, well you have to hear. 
Yeah, first of all, we have to understand more about who we are. We have to understand our nature as a human being, that we are individuals, we are persons, we have feelings, we have emotions, and we have all these things, because these things are also there in God. We have, we, we have to appreciate more the existence of God, that God is, there is, a, that there is a person behind this world, there is a supreme personality of over everything who is controlling and arranging everything. It requires a lot of hearing. We have to hear. We have to hear carefully for a long time to purify the consciousness. Shao 呃, the first question is that uh, whether or not that in our uh, right now in this human body we have to train train ourselves to develop the true spontaneous true feeling because right now I'm simply imi uh, imitating uh, falsely. Well, if you're imitating the devotional behavior, then it's imitation of a good thing. So we we encourage the devotees follow in the footsteps. Of course, we say don't don't just simply imitate, but follow in the footsteps. So follow the example. So you may not understand what you're doing, but if you follow the example of the devotees, the good devotees, then you will get benefit. You'll get purification. So Just like the mother is chanting Hare Krishna, so if the child also chants like the mother, 
then it's good for the child. Of course, we want the child to gradually understand why, why to chant Hare Krishna. And that will come gradually. The child will get gradually grow up and will get more knowledge and more understanding. In, in our life, we will meet various persons and various situations if we take it as part of the the whole lila of God, whether or not it, it is uh, counted as devotional service, if we take uh, take everything we need as part of the play of God. Well, it's not all devotional service. Devotional service goes on under the spiritual energy. But if we are acting under the material energy, it's not devotional service. We can it, we have that free will. We can choose to take the shelter of Krishna or the shelter of Maya. So when we take the shelter of Maya, we're under the material energy, we're under the modes of nature. But when we take shelter of Krishna, then we're under the spiritual energy. So you can't say everything is devotional service. Oh. Shaiko uh, our princess, dear Guru and all devotees, um, Guru, the pain of separation can be transformed to bliss, um, ecstasy. So the We, so the ecstasy comes from we simply to love and after that we experience the, experience the ecstasy or we experience the, uh, 
that we are loved by others, and after that we experience the ecstasy, or we lo loved, and then we experience that we are loved by others, and therefore we have this feeling. Yes, there must be love in the beginning. You have love for someone. In the beginning, there's love. There's a relationship there, and you have love for them. But then you're separated from them. So there's pain in that separation. But that pain becomes ecstasy. Yes, you Jung 下一个是嗯，有话题下去对大师。哈利·克里斯纳·迪尔·古鲁玛拉，Please Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Yuvati Sachim Madaji Ben Shu Hare Krishna Chen Guru Maharaj Zai Di Si Pian Vatan Vishu Manar Muni Si Yu Juva Maharaj Ong Namo Bhagavate Basu Devaya did mantra or Mayo Si Ta Hare Krishna Maha Mantra Ma. Because Lord Chaitanya was going to come later on to give the Hare Krishna mantra. So, Narada Muni didn't want to go in the way of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He knew, Narada Muni knew that in the future Lord Chaitanya will come and he will give everyone the holy name, the Hare Krishna mantra. But Narada Muni doesn't want to interfere with Lord Chaitanya's mission. So he gave Dhruva Maharaj Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. <laughs> But at those at that time when Narada Muni was meeting that was Satya Yuga. The Satya Yuga, you know, uh, in those that particular time, Lord Krishna had not come, Lord Rama had not come. People were more devoted to Vasudev, Vasudev meaning Narayan, Lord Vishnu, like that. So Vasudev, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, that offering obeisances to Vasudev, the personality of Godhead. So generally, people think this is Vishnu. Sing Ching Xin Yu Ching Lai Basu Vasu Dev 
Narayana, to Vishnu. So this mantra is in front of the Vasudeva. The Vasudeva is the Lord of the Lord. People think that it is Vishnu. Dhruva, Dhruva Maharaj is going to go to Vaikuntha, he's not going to go to Goloka. Narada Muni is a Vaikuntha man. Narada Muni is his guru, so Narada Muni is from Vaikuntha, so he gave Dhruva Maharaj a mantra to go to Vaikuntha. Narada Muni is a Vaikuntha man. Mm,所以他作为咕噜,他就给了一个,给了一首,mantra,就让他的门徒去摆困他的mantra。Okay。嗯,下一个问题来自于,插入,chitter,给了一大戏。还有Kishna,谦卑的顶拜咕噜。顶拜您，感恩Guru甜美的讲课。我的问题是，狂喜是通过奉献服务获得的，那我们渴望狂喜是灵性的吗？还是感官享乐？感恩Guru。呃，Hare Krishna, I bow down humbly to Guru. Thank you for your sweet love. My question is that. The ecstasy comes from devotional service. If we aspire um, ecstasy, to get ecstasy, is it spiritual or sense gratification if we desire ecstasy? Uh, devotees generally don't desire ecstasy. They desire devotional service because ecstasy can sometimes will disturb our devotional service. There's an example. There was one devote. One devotee was fanning Krishna. He he had the peacock fan and he was fanning Krishna. But when he was fanning Krishna, he was feeling ecstasy. So he was. Unhappy was cursing this ecstasy because it was disturbing his service to Krishna. Um,就是奉献者不渴望狂喜，因为这会打扰他的奉献服务。奉献者是渴望奉献服务。有一个例子是讲的是有一个奉献者呢，他正在用孔雀羽毛扇子对Krishna扇凉。然后突然之间他感受到狂喜，然后他这时候呢，他就不快乐了，一他就诅咒这种狂喜，因为这是干干扰了他做奉献服务。嗯，OK。下一个问题，嗯，是Honor，华为，我不吃肉。我们先看一下有关的问题。嗯，嗯，这个问题是华为每次联谊。对，我我只是给家人做肉，奉献者联谊。呃，我我只不吃肉，只是买肉给家人做肉。如果我做素食供奉给Krishna，Krishna能接受
the mood of a devotee. So you can cook and offer to Krishna, but I don't know, I don't know myself if Krishna is going to accept it or not. It's not very good standard. Of course, if you're just cooking for yourself and then you offer to Krishna, you know, for yourself you can do it. But, you know, I, I mean, I wouldn't like to eat your cooking because you're buying meat and you're cooking meat for others. So I wouldn't like to take your cooking. So I don't know if Krishna would like to take it. Shu 如果我只是给家人做肉，奉献者便宜，我主厨给奉献者吃，会影响奉献者的知觉吗？然后he this devotee uh continue to ask that um I only cook meat for family members. Uh during the association of devotees, uh I will cook in the kitchen and cook for devotees. Uh will 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 that affect the consciousness of devotee? Yes, could do. It could do. Kunong,可能会影响。嗯,我们一周一次联谊,联谊一半的时间用在做大三上,我们想,进出房是最光荣的服务,虽然我不得已给家人做肉,但还是想进出房,这种想法对吗? We we will associate with each other once a week and during our association half of the time will be spent on the, the feast. We will think that is the most glorious service in the kitchen. Although I have to cook meat for family members, but still I want to enter into the kitchen. Is this idea <laughs> Whether it is this idea is right. Well, you want to enter into the kitchen, you want to cook for Krishna and the devotees, you should be qualified. You should be strictly following, but you're not strictly following. And just recently, one devotee came to me and he told me that, that, that he said, uh, he said his sister was initi got initiation, but his mother could not get initiation. And so I asked him why his mother couldn't get He said, because my mother is still cooking meat for her husband, for his father. He said, he said, my mother, he said, father is an old man and sometimes he wants to eat things, you know, non-vegetarian. And so the wife is cooking for him. And so she, she did not get accepted to be initiated. 
去找他，就告诉他他的姐妹已经起兵了，但是他母亲没有。嗯，因为他母亲呢要为自己的丈夫，也就是他父亲做肉食，因为他他的老爸年纪大了，想吃荤的，所以呢，作为妻子呢，就得给他做做荤食。所以呢，就是他的母，这位封建者的母亲呢，没有被接受，呃，获得起义。This was s h i l a j a p a t a k a Swami Maharaj. He, he his, his, uh, his uh, committee would not approve this lady for initiation until she stops cooking meat. 就是这个是，就是是斋是了斋帕达克索安玛拉吉，嗯，他的委员会呢就不同意，就这位就是这个母亲呢，嗯，得到启迪，就除非他遵守这个规范。OK。下一个问题是他竹笛。哈利普亚这个大师，顶拜公队。佛家梵歌说，为解脱的灵魂，其行为是物自然三形态引起，物自然三形态完成。我们念诵的圣灵是 Krishna 本人，是不是说我们念诵圣灵的当下是不受三形态控制的呢？感恩公队。好，贝斯公队 ，In Bhagavad Gita it is said。Those, the uh, unliberated souls, their behavior is carried out by the three modes of material nature. And under the three modes of material nature, now we are chanting the holy name of Krishna, and the holy name is Krishna Himself. Mm, does that mean that, uh, in the present, uh, when we chant the holy name? We are not under the three modes of material nature. Yes, if you chant the holy name without offense, there is quality. There is quality in chanting the holy name. So if you're chanting the holy name, you, you could be chanting in passion or in ignorance, or you're chanting under the modes of nature. But when we chant the pure holy name, then we will be transcendental. Mm -hmm. Okay. 每次啊，那是每次联谊都是大餐，唱诵的时间、学习的时间有限，这是高品质的联谊吧？必须每次联谊都必须大餐吗？不是提倡简朴生活、崇高思想吗？只是为了满足舌头而联谊吗？<笑> Yeah, go ahead, translate. Yeah, yeah. Each time, uh, we associate. It's always major. Uh, there is always big feast, and there's limited time for chant for kirtan and uh, start study learning. Is that high quality association? Um, mm, is is it necessary for us to have big feast each uh during each association? Isn't that we we promote simple living, high high thinking? Is that that only to gratify the the tongue that we associate? Hmm. Well, prasadam is important for some people. You may not value prasadam yourself, but for some people, it's very important. You know, especially. Newer devotees, you know, they don't always get the opportunity to have nice prasadam, and so prasadam is very important in 
giving people more faith and strengthening them in Krishna consciousness. Prasadam is not material, it's spiritual. If we take the prasadam in the proper consciousness, it's, it's not sense gratification, it's spiritual. Prasadam 好了,一个人就怀着正确的知觉去荣耀菩萨的,那他就不是感官享乐了,而是一种灵性的体验。Of course, we do like to have kirtan, we do like to have discussion on philosophy. These things are also nice, not only just taking prasadam. 当然了,我们也希望同时呢, 有Pirtan唱宋啊,还有讨论哲学,这些都是很好的事情,而不仅仅是局限于荣耀菩萨的。Sometimes, you know, you can let people take prasadam, and a few people who are very interested in kirtan, you can sit and do kirtan, and do kirtan while everyone is honouring prasadam. 可以安排就是 it's a nice service to do for the pleasure of the devotees. You chant the holy name while they take prasada. Mm-hmm. 预言了主彩丹鸟的出世和先说了马曼卓,这部经典是真实存在的吗?如果是,为什么很多佛教徒都不知道这部经典呢?感恩您。So Shuti Rupa, the Dasi is asking uh, Guru, some devotee said that Lord Buddha, there the Lord Buddha ha, have a shashra called when Lord Buddha enter into Nirvana mm. uh, in the Chinese it's called Fu Ling Nye Pan Xi Zhu Xi Fa Zhu Jing. Uh there is a small booklet. Uh, that the, the the content of the booklet is that that when Lord Lord Buddha uh passed away before he passed away he had some uh, uh profit uh that after some time something will happen and um, after several hundred years of time uh, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will take birth in. Navadip and will broadcast Mahamantra. So Suti Rupa is asking whether or not this this chapter is true or not. If it is true, why many Buddhists they don't know this booklet? <laughs> well, there's so many booklets. What is the authority of this booklet? Who is the author? We have to con consider these things. There are so many booklets, so you know, what, what is actually authorized Shastra and what is not? 
多的这个小册子了，太多的这个经文了，您得看那个这个它的权威性，得考察它的作者，它是不是权威的。So we have mention of Lord Buddha in our scriptures, but Buddhists don't like to hear what our scriptures say about Buddha. I don't know. Have I answered the question? Is it? Mm, I also asked this booklet from a a student of Be Beida University, and she and she checked it. She said that there is no such thing. <laughs> I don't know. The next question. Yeah. 嗯，那么继续看下一个问题，就是哦呢，这奉建者说：“孤乳不吃，神会吃吗？”没人告诉我进厨房需要资格，不知道怎么办呢？门徒课程也没说，经典也没说，周围奉建也没告诉我。She, this devotee said that if guru doesn't take what I cook, then what to speak of God? And nobody told me that. I need some qualification to enter into the kitchen, so I I really don't know this. So what to do? And even the disciple course and Sasha didn't doesn't mention it. No no devotee told me about that. Well, disciple course does mention about regulative principles. It mentions about. Cleanliness, mercy, austerity, truthfulness. So buying meat to purchase meat and to cook meat is is not so different from the people who eat the meat. You buy the meat, that means you pay somebody to kill the animals. Where is the mercy? Where is the truthful? Where is the austerity? There is no austerity. You're killing animals to satisfy the tongue. It is not merciful. It is not clean. Don't tell me cooking meat is clean. In the teachers' course, there is a mention of the five principles of Buddhism. You should be clean, austere, 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 austere. 跟吃肉没有太大的区别，因为因为要因为你还得付钱去请让别人去杀动物，那么仁慈、真诚、苦行何在呢？没有苦行啊，因为杀你杀动物还是为了满足舌头啊。嗯，这个有什么仁慈啊？有什么仁慈的原则？有什么清洁的原则？有什么苦行的原则呢？ One time in London, in London, Prabhupada was there, and some one Indian man came to Prabhupada, and he asked Prabhupada, he said, "Swamiji, please come to my home." So Prabhupada looked him, and he said to him, "Do you cook meat in your house?" And the man said, "Oh yes, sometimes we cook meat." So then Prabhupada said, "Then I will not come." 有一次呢，就是在伦敦，有有一个人就来到施乐，一个印度人，就来，嗯，请施乐帕帕的，就邀请他说：“索阿米，你到我家里来做客吧。”然后施乐帕帕就看着他，问他，直视他，问他：“你做肉吗？”然后这个印度人呢，就说：“是的，有的时候是做的。”然后施乐帕帕就说：“那我不去。”
Next one. Yeah. 好，那我们看下一个问题。Pre Preman Jana， 感谢敬爱的 Guru， 感谢您。我边做饭边直播，让很多人都看到我做的饭做的过程，做好后再供奉。Krishna 会接受吗 ？Dear Dear Guru, I will broadcast the process of cooking, and many people will. Uh, watch on the cell phone, and、um, what I cook, and the whole process. After that, I will offer it. Will Krishna accept it? She she will do she will cook, and show it to many many people. Yes, and、uh, like to teach others how to cook. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh, 那是的，会接受的。If you offer with love. 嗯，如果您是怀着爱供奉的。Again, you're offering to Krishna. You must be clean. You must be pure. You should have chanted Hare Krishna beforehand. You should be chanting Hare Krishna, and then you can offer with love, and then Krishna will will accept. 嗯，就是呃，你必须是保持清洁纯粹，要唱诵 Hare Krishna， 就是在做饭之前呢，要做到清洁，唱诵 Hare Krishna， 而、呃、怀着爱去做的话 ，Krishna 会接受的。下一个问题是 ：Yavati Sachi Devdasi, Hare Krishna, Gurudev. If a devotee is not not yet able to chant the Maha Mantra without offense, or tries to do so, is this more advanced than the beginner level? Hare Krishna, Gurudev. 如果一个奉献者还不能做到没有冒犯的唱诵 Hare Krishna Maha Mantra， 但是努力的去做。嗯，这这个层面是不是比出席的出席者要高呢？这个层面进步呢 ？Yes。嗯，是的。Because, well, it depends. You know, an an a chuti a neophyte devotee may also be chanting Hare Krishna, but they may be chanting without offense. He, they're they're chanting. Very sincerely, so although they're near fight, they may be chanting very with very sincere intention. So you cannot tell who is. Hmm, this cannot be one opinion. Some devotees, they do not offend the chanting of Hare Krishna. They are very sincere chanting. So, this is. 嗯，就不能一概而定了。<笑>下一个 p r e m a n j a 呢？是不是奉献者只要在一起就算联谊？不管在一起做什么，像普通人一样聊天、开玩笑也算联谊吗？嗯、uh, ，Whether or not it is association, even if devotee get together and to Pajal do, pajal pot to say something else and to joke. Is it also association? No. It's material association. It's not. <laughs> it's not sadhu sangha. It's not spiritual association. This is material association. 这不是撒度三的，不是灵性的联谊。The purpose of association is to talk about Krishna and discuss devotional service, not to laugh and just laugh and joke. 嗯，奉献者在一起呢，他们就会谈论 Krishna， 谈论奉献服务，而不是在那里嘻嘻哈哈的开玩笑。
越秀英，你卖过的妈祖，献给给咕噜供给奎，请问咕噜献给奎什纳供奉的菩萨的二产品，比如说大豆腐、干豆腐，还有多的二产品，这样供奉能影响知觉吗？Uh, obeisance to Guru's lotus feet, Guru. We offer the prasad and we offer the Krishna include the content of tofu and dry tofu and some byproduct of so soil. Soil. Will will this offering whether or not will this offering will affect Our consciousness. Oh, because you're offering tofu and things like that, is it going to affect your consciousness? Yeah, yes. Not the the original these elements, but some elements that has been uh, processed. By others. Well, everything depends on the time and the place and the circumstances. So, without knowing all the details, I wouldn't like to say. This, 一切呢都要看时间地点场合。我也不知道您那个细节呀、啊，具体的细节，所以啊，不好说。Now, in temple, in a, a in a proper temple, of course, we won't offer these things to the deity. But when you're at home, and you're and sometimes in the devotees together in a house like that, then okay, you can offer these things. In the proper temple, is not allowed to offer these things. But, for example, offer offerings to the deity, 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 offerings You know, we have to consider things like tofu. Who's making it? The people who make the tofu are they smoking cigarettes? Sometimes you get people making the tofu that they're smoking cigarettes and they're meat eaters. So it's not good to eat their tofu. But if you get tofu which is made by devotee or made by somebody who is a pious. Uh, maybe a Buddhist like that, then it's better. Best is you want to have tofu, you make it yourself. Um, 就是有有有的做豆腐的人呢、啊，一边抽着烟呢、啊，他自己还吃肉，然后这样的人呢，做的豆腐呢，就差点。然后比这个好一点的呢，是那些就是奉献者做的，虔诚的人士啊，比如说佛教徒做的，这就要。呃，品质要好一些，这样的豆制品最好的呢是自己做，亲手做的。Yeah. 下一个是 p r e m e n t e 呢，现在孩子们粘在手机上，不愿意和人交流，怎么办？嗯、uh, ，Nowadays children they they Looking, they are looking at their cell phone all the time. They don't have, the, don't don't like to, um, communicate with the other person. So what to do? Take the handphone away from them. 把孩子们的手机拿走，没收。Okay. 嗯、uh,。最后一个问题，这这位奉献者说：“顶拜咕噜，我不做肉，也不买肉，但是我会尽母亲和女儿的责任，给孩子和父亲的钱。他们不是奉献者，这也算做肉了，怎么办？平时我和儿子、父亲不在一起住，但就是这点会违违反四项基本原则。” Obeisance guru, although I don't cook meat, I don't buy meat. But as a mother and as a daughter, I will do my duty and give money to my children and my father. 
they are not devotee. So what do so that that is also like cooking meat. So what to do? Because um in the data because I don't live with my son and father, but this will also val violate the four regular principle. What they get, she gives money to them. Yes. Well, she's giving money out of duty, but it's it's not her fault that they buy meat with the money. I mean, she's giving money for their maintenance, but she's not telling them to buy meat. They do that on their own. That's their problem. She has some duty. She has to give some money to the to her son or to her father, whatever. So it's out of duty. I don't think she's violating the regular principle. Mm that's all the question. Okay, so we'll stop here today. Thank you very much, Guru Mani. Thank you, Maharaj. We wish all the devotees uh, nice chanting and on an aus auspicious day. Hare Krishna, Srila Prabhupada, Ki Jai. Hare Bo, Guru Dui, Hayo Yigavanti. Guru Mani. Yes, so there is one more question from Hare Vansa Prabhu. Hare Vansa Prabhu, Guru Jana Jijong Funny Hold of Ling Sing Ching Dai, Sai Wu Shi Jie de Mu Zi, Nan Yu Jie de Ching Dai, Sai Dao Yu Ban Jai Shi Ba. In the lecture, Guru, you, you said that the, the spiritual emotion that after the separation uh, in the material world, uh, there's also the emotion between mother and son and female and male. So is it a perverted exhibition? Yes. Should I? Should I? Yes, it's perverted of the pure love for Krishna. The person we we really love is Krishna. You don't love the body. The dead body, you don't love a dead body. You love the person because the soul is in the body. And that soul is a part of Krishna. That's all. Okay, no more questions. Thank you. Okay. Wama Ganshi Guru Mani Game Wama Jantai Dufani Ganshi Asoy Du Function Sidling Ting Chang Song. Jufu Niman, Wan Shit Rui, Twan Jao Shun Li, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. My Kunda Jin Fu Yang, uh, who is 